Hey everyone, this is Doug with b &H. Today I have Sean with me from Panasonic. He is here with the brand new, long-awaited GH5. Where do we start? All right, so let's talk about the uh, core specs on it then. 20 megapixel, four-thirds chip without the low-pass filter, mm -hmm. housed in our five-axis dual IS system in a fully weather-sealed mag body with dual memory card slot, new HDMI port for full-size Type A, USB-C input on the Very side nice. here with the same battery as the GH4, different grip, uh, different accessories for audio, things like that. Let's start with some of the, the internals. Yeah. Uh, so the sensor technology, the, the processing, yeah. maybe some of the autofocusing. Talk to me. Yeah, so uh, like I said, it's got a 20 megapixel, four thirds chip mm -hmm. with the low pass filter removed. So you're gonna get sharper images, better color, uh, better high ISO noise levels. Mm -hmm. Put that in combination with the Venus Engine 10. So this is the brand new revision of the G of the Venus Engine. And you're gonna get higher ISO shooting that wasn't really ever doable before on a Lumix camera. So this will provide the highest level stills capability of any Lumix camera to Very date. Very nice. That in combination with the new focusing system, so the, uh, the new DFD system that we're implementing, mm -hmm. Uh, which uses a lot of the horsepower that the Venus engine has, as well as the faster readout on the sensor, to provide a focusing system that when it locks on a point, never lets go in both stills and video. Nice. So both sides are gonna be super, super excited about that. Part of what aids that now is we've moved from a 49 point autofocusing system to a 225 point autofocusing system. Okay, quite the jump. Yeah, way more areas uh, to grab your focus point. Um, and the new toggle dial on the, on the back of the camera allows you to select through those points a lot more accurately and faster, uh, especially if you're setting groups and things like that. It's a 20 megapixel chip, so you're gonna get a, a modest bump in resolution from previous Micro Four Thirds cameras, but the removal of that low pass filter is gonna give you much better uh, micro contrast, better detail overall, mm -hmm. nicer high, higher ISOs, yeah. and better color. Moving on to videos, you know, the GH4 was known as bringing 4K to a lot of people. Um, the only thing, my personal gripe, was the crop, but mm -hmm. the GH5, does it crop? So no, the GH5 <laughs> no longer crops. Good, good. We do effectively now record a larger area in our 4K than it's one of them. The full readout. Full readout Downscale. of the Micro Four Thirds chip, downscaled into 4K. Nice, so you get that oversampling. Yeah. Perfect. You get some beautiful 4K footage out of this camera. I can't wait to see it. You announced 60p a while ago. Mm -hmm. So let's talk. At the announcement, we did, like Lee said, we said that it'll do 4K 60p, mm -hmm. and then it's also said that we're going to do 4K 422 10-bit. Yeah. So right out of the gate, the camera's going to do 4K 60 frame, but that, is, that particular frame rate is at 4208 bit okay. at 150 megabit. That's good. Up to 4K 30 in the camera, we'll be able to record 422 10-bit at 150 megabit as well. And that is huge. Like I, it's a major yeah, jump no longer, over predecessors. I mean, internal is yeah. Yeah, and this is to like you said internally to the memory cards. Yeah. You know that with a GH camera, it's always going to be forward thinking with storage yeah, as well. Yeah. That being said, the camera will have a firmware update down the line that's going to allow us to do 400 megabit. 422 10-bit, oh. all intra, oh, in some of the 4K modes oh. and in the full HD modes as well. Very so nice. So there is a ton coming along in this camera. From day one, like I said, we're giving you a very solid package. That's not to say when we look at the 4K 30 that can do 422 10-bit internally, that's not the only 422 10-bit that you can do. What um, else? Over HDMI, we are going to allow you to do 422 10-bit 4K 60 recording. So that's over HDMI nice. using the Type A that's in this camera. So if you're using something um, like an Inferno that can actually take that 60p footage, you'll be able to do 422 10-bit 60 yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So that reminds me though, VFR? Um, has mm -hmm. that changed at all in this? Yeah, so as you can probably guess, like everything else, we've upped what the camera can do. Mm -hmm. So in 4K now, we're giving you the option for VFR that'll be up to 60p, so mm -hmm. you can get a 2.5 times slower uh, end footage. Yeah. As well as in 1080, we're letting you now go to 180 frame per Ooh. second, so 7.5 times slower footage. Very nice. All recorded internally to the memory cards. Beautiful. <laughs> 
So let's talk a little bit about the build. Now, I can see this does look mostly similar to the GH4, <laughs> um, but there are some changes to the toggles and the connectors. So yeah. uh, can you go into that? Yeah, so um, like we said, the, the camera in general is gonna be very, very similar to the GH4, mm -hmm. um, minus a few little things. So we've added now a toggle switch on the back here, uh, joystick for selecting your focus points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well as also turning this into a four-way uh, function button switch, should you decide to. Mm -hmm. Um, a rear dial now that's rotating uh, for ease to go through menus, but also again can be four-way selectable for Very nice. more custom functions. Um, the dual memory cards now, which are both UHS-2 class cards, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter which card you're going to select for video or stills recording, they're both able to handle the throughput. And the full-size Type A HDMI. That I like, yeah as well as the USB-C 3.1 newer spec, so this thing will transfer blazingly fast. Nice, nice. We did also <laughs> add this part, which, oh, which yes, we've been yes, talking yes. about a little bit. Um, so the GH4 had the YAGH, which was yeah, our audio yeah. and, and, and uh, SDI. SDI. Um, so we've kind of learned a little bit over the years from that experience, and we've now created the, this XLR adapter piece. Uh, what this gives you is this gives you uh, 96 kilohertz audio recording Ooh, wow. in 24-bit with uh, MOV recording mm -hmm. that's powered through the hot shoe. So no so wires. No wires. Aside from the XLR. No additional extra piece to sit there and lug around with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just mounts right up on top of the camera, gives you two XLR in, phantom power, and tons of control for audio that's recorded directly into the camera. One of the biggest things that we've announced is that we're actually putting out the firmware roadmap. Now, we touched on it a little oh, bit before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the camera is announced at CES, it'll start shipping in March into April, that time period, mm -hmm. and in April we'll land our first firmware update. Now the first firmware update is going to bring the 422 10-bit in full HD, some of the other um, recording flavors. Yeah, so for the lower resolutions. Yeah. yeah, so we'll add some of those in April. Then throughout the summer we will be adding a secondary uh, round of firmware updates, mm -hmm. which is where that'll bring the 400 megabit all intra. Um, 4K in 422, the 200 megabit all intra 1080 at 422 uh, 10 bit. Got all your bases covered. Oh, yeah. 6K anamorphic shooting. So, anamorphic is one of the things that really the GH4 <laughs> kind of carved out yeah, with. Yeah. So, now we're going to give you 6K anamorphic shooting, as well as it'll also add a hybrid log gamma. So, for those HDR, HDR shooters, yeah, yeah. you'll be able to have an actual camera that can shoot it, which that is to nice. date, I don't believe there's anything else that can do it. The uh, 6K, mm -hmm. that's open, that's the whole sensor? So yeah, it'll be the full four-thirds sensor you'll be able to record wow. in 6K. So if you're recording in what's called open gate or you're actually putting an anamorphic optic in front of it, I mean, you've got tons of resolution to work with in a camera that is also still stabilized <laughs> to yeah. record all that stuff yeah. with zero record limit. That's insane. Let me repeat that really again. <laughs> it's stabilized and doesn't have a record limit. Unbelievable. Um, well, you heard it here. Thank you, Sean, for showing me the amazing GH5. Of course. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.